Hello folks, my name is Kevin Darty and I'm the new director of the Illinois Center for Agricultural Engagement. Don't be too confused. Remember what we did was we took Ag in the Classroom and Illinois Farm Families, we put them together in the same office and we needed to call something. We need to call ourselves something because sometimes when people called looking for farm families and we said Ag in the Classroom, they got confused. When they called looking for Ag in the Classroom, we said farm families, they got confused. So now we just call ourselves agricultural engagement because that's what we do, engage classrooms and consumers. That just started September 1, so we've been answering the phone when we remember to do it, ag engagement, and we're looking forward to more agricultural engagement across the state. But what I'm here to do is give you a highlight report of our 2017-2018 school year through Ag in the Classroom. So first off, let's start with that. In your handout, you got a number of things. I want to I want to highlight a couple of things. First off, last year our programs, our programs reached 2,655 attendance centers. That's school buildings. That's 62% of all the attendance centers school buildings in the state of Illinois. Your county might not have a lot, the county next to you might have, but we're in 62% of all the attendance centers. We reached over 694,000 students. 694,000 students, so a third of all the students, and that's an unduplicated number. Just because some of the kids heard from an Ag Literacy Coordinator, heard a presentation four or five times, we don't count that. Those are unduplicated numbers. The same with our teacher population. We work directly with 30% of all the teachers in the state of Illinois, 41,369 teachers. So we're awfully proud of those, those activities. Um, uh, other highlights from Ag in the Classroom, our grant report, 5,675 volunteers, 5,000 volunteers. 18 years ago when I started, people were worried that we would see fewer and fewer volunteers. However, by having a coordinated effort, what we've continually seen is more people volunteering, but they have to volunteer for less. So we're seeing those micro-volunteers. And people can volunteer for what they want and not have to plan the whole thing. All totaled last year, our, um, all totaled last year, our, our counties raised, <laughs> our counties raised a whopping, that matched a, a nearly $2 million. Uh, there is a lot of effort going on at Ag in the Classroom. It is an important part. It is an important part of what we do, and uh, we couldn't do this without the, the dedicated support of the IA Foundation, but also the counties. What did we do last year at Ag in the Classroom? Last year was the year of the escape box. So tying those STEM requirements in, we've, we've come up with games and activities to link agriculture to those escape rooms and those escape boxes. So last year was the year of the escape boxes, but we also did some other really neat things, including our new beef ag mag focusing on livestock, also pizza, another big livestock and consumer issue uh, there as well. We had our big cuts of meat posters. I'm gonna show you the little postcards that we did for farm families that coordinated with those. But again, engaging classrooms and consumers, working with those things, and also trying, trying our wings with things that are coming out literacy-wise. Again, schools, reading, writing, arithmetic, we're throwing ag in there, and we have to make sure that we find ways for our students and our teachers to see how this fits. Uh, one way we did this was using a book called The Thing About Luck. The Thing About Luck, it's about wheat. We partnered with the Illinois Reads Program, a division of the Illinois Reading Council, and in Southern Illinois in DuCoin last year, uh, thousands of students across the state and teachers were able to read this book and be aware of this book, talking about ag literacy. It's by an Illinois author, Cynthia Kodahata, so we're really excited about that. And then an accidental discovery we found when we were doing this. Uh, talks a lot about those animal issues. So how we're trying to stay involved, not only with pollinators, not only with soil and nutrient loss reduction strategies, but uh, with, uh, with our animal rights. We, we focused a lot of efforts on a book called Flip the Bird. And it's a high school level book and it talks about falconry, but it's really uh, a great segue into what's going on at the local area with animal agriculture, with, with protest groups and how you handle them and those two different scenarios. So those are a couple of big things that we worked with. Again, a couple of other uh, highlights in your program that you'll see are, are uh, uh, we worked with 1,166 pre-service teachers at a number of colleges and universities. Um, my staff, they, they do stay busy. We, we are on the road a lot. Uh, but the, the meat and potatoes of this comes back down to those county level support systems, what we do at the county level support. What's ahead for us? Well, we've got a couple new ag mags coming out. We don't print things until we run out. So we're trying to be great stewards. We are great stewards of that money that we're giving to our counties. And in 2018, we just awarded and will be awarding uh, $640,000 of grant money 
to the county level. The average county grant next year is going to be around $8,000, so we're really excited to see what the counties will be able to do with that. Uh, a couple of things coming up. we got a new soybean ag mag, a new dairy ag mag. Again, we'll be highlighting dairy. Again, we'll be highlighting dairy and uh, uh, talking about National Milk Day, so we'll have that feature as well. Uh, next up also will be Auntie Yang's Great Soybean Picnic, talking about soybeans and the importance of soybeans at the next Illinois Reads. It's been named the 2019 Illinois Reads book uh, that we're proud to sponsor by Illinois author Beth and Ginny Lowe, author and illustrator, sister combo, and that'll be in Waukegan. So on the North Shore, we'll be talking about soybeans to students in a very diverse community that probably haven't thought about it before. I'll switch hats a little bit and I'll move on to our Illinois Farm Families program. You also see information from our consumer grants, what we've done with our consumer grants. Uh, we had uh, $83,000 requested from the counties. We awarded almost $50,000. However, the counties, they ended up turning in bills for $27,000. You'll see there they did a number of consumer events, uh, farm to table dinners to book club discussions. We had phenomenal public relations at the local level, also within Farm Week. We did do some minor tweaks and minor changes to this. This is the fourth year, the 2019 uh, year will be the fourth year of our county uh, consumer communications grants. And we've changed that to a consumer engagement grant as opposed to communicating, we're gonna engage consumers. Uh, those grants were due August 31st. We'll be announcing those here at the end of September. We've allowed the grants to go on for a lot longer during the County Farm Bureau programming year from October 1st all the way till next August. And we're gonna do this as a matching program. We'll provide up to $750 for each individual uh, each individual uh, activity that the counties do. Whatever money they put in, they can match up to $750. The reason we did that was the average cost of our, of our programs that we did last year was around $800. So this is a way to encourage counties to spend a little of their money, spend a little of our money, and, and still maintain those quality programs that they're looking to do. We will be looking for something to replace Illinois uh, uh, Food Evolution. That was a huge draw with our with our community uh, we kind of food evolutioned out uh, we are no longer able to uh, secure those rights to show the film however as soon as it's available on DVD I do have funds set aside to purchase one for each individual county we are looking to uh, enhance our uh, uh, manager and en uh, engagement manager role Linda Olson did retire back in uh, May. Uh, I took some more time learning about the program, what was going on, and we're ready to post that here shortly, and we hope to have more emphasis on what's going on at the county level. What we'll be working with this is, is uh, we, we hope to have a just add water approach. Here are some cool ideas. Here's how a county can easily implement that. That's what we're working toward. Uh, within your packet, you also got the county consumer communication grant recipients and what they got, as uh, well as an information about the uh, information about food evolution. One last thing is a result from Morgan and Myers, and it was a campaign that the farm families, still that coalition between beef, pork, dairy, Illinois Farm Bureau, soybean, uh, beef, pork, dairy, Illinois soybean, uh, Illinois corn, and uh, Midwest Dairy Association. So you see the campaign that they did uh, uh, in June through August, engaging more folks, uh, specifically talking about GMOs, uh, modify your thinking, working toward making genetically modified, making that more acceptable at the consumer level. Uh, if you have any more questions about either the Ag in the Classroom report or the Farm Families report, I'd be happy to take those. I hope you've enjoyed this new, uh, new twist on this, and uh, that's our update from the Illinois Center for Agricultural Engagement.